comes a new challenger! What's up guys, my name is Owen, welcome back to another KOH video. In today's KOH video, we are going over the light, dark, or really, the dark Nat 5. Free to play friendly Nat 5. And Nat 5, that is dark. That is a healer. Watch me. She's so fucking good. So let's just jump right into the video. Lakshmi, a muse that wanders the Lorenzen continent who shows off exquisite dance and music. From her appearance, she looks like the desert spirit, Dijin. However, for some reason, she has animal ears and a tail like those mixed blood hybrids, which is odd. Dijin's and mixed blood hybrids have fought each other for hundreds of years over the Oasis Kingdom and are known to hate each other. Dijin's are famous for their beauty, dance, and music. And because of this, the Oasis Kingdom in the Dijin homeland was once called the Kingdom of Performing Arts. From the many dances brought down by the Dijin's, there is one that portrays a lotus flower being washed away down the river. Legends say this dance is based on the stories of a princess that was born from a big lotus flower after it fell down from the sky. The muse that plays the role of the princess must always smile since the princess had come down to earth to pass on happiness. One day, a small seed fell from the celestial world and the inhabitants of the oasis believed it to be the return of the legend's lotus princess. However, the seed consumed all of the oasis water and became a giant tree. Its branches toppled the city and split the entire desert. After this event, the oasis' inhabitants forever disappeared from the brown dust. Your dance. I like it. I just thought of a great choreography. Do you want to dance with me? So now with the story out of the way, let's jump right into her first skill. Her first skill is called Absorb Energy. Attacks a target enemy and knocks them back one tile. Successful hits reduce the target's speed and increases your speed for one turn. This skill is so good. It could disrupt an enemy's team, especially in PvP, from being team synced. And it pushes them back one tile, making it so it's further from them being in a uh, synchronized area. Like, say, if you have the enemy teams using like a fray or something like that and they want to actually hit most of their team or all of their teammates with our uh, her skill if you knock them back you could desync them and make it so that she can't hit all of them with their with her skill like the shield skill and it'll enable you to actually utilize that to your advantage and then single target nuke that character down or even if you hit the fray itself then you could nuke her down more easily without having to strip or anything like that so she the skill is so good. It's so good. And if you actually tear her up, it does more damage, but then it also does one plus effect duration. So that means that it reduces the target speed and increases your speed for one turn, turns to two turns. So it reduces their speed by two turns and increases your speed by two turns. The skill is so good. She is so good. <laughs> All right, but now let's move on to her second skill cleansing dance increases the defense of you and surrounding allies for one turn while removing one debuff successful removing debuffs from afflicted allies grants continuous recovery on them for one turn so this skill is actually very useful too it cleanses it gives them a healing factor so when they do get a turn it actually allows them to heal <laughs> uh and increases their defense so it makes them even tankier so it's harder for them to die let's say if they are a little bit slower than the enemy's teammates uh if you ha haven't been able to get that first skill off onto them and slow them down then they are able to take a hit more likely than not because of that defense increase and when you actually skill up this uh skill you get two more increased defense turns meaning that they have three turns of defense and then you also reduce the cooldown by one turn so the cooldown becomes four instead of five making this a very viable unit to be able to buff your teammates and heal them at the exact same time skill energetic dance with her brilliant dance moves lakshmi infuses a target ally with energy granting them an action opportunity additionally she increases the target's attack and grants them a debuff immunity for one turn debuff immunity in this game is so good because it gives you immunity to debuffs. <laughs> nothing, nothing else needs to be said about that, to be completely honest. Uh, it allows them to be more tanky, making sure they can't get stunned and stuff like that. So it's just a very good, very good, very good 
skill because it actually gives you action gauge opportunity, meaning your teammate can go a turn right afterwards, which is very, very good. It's kind of weird, though, uh, that she gives them attack and immunity for one turn but then she causes them to go it's a little bit weird uh so it's an eh it's good but it's an eh at the same time because it does give them that increased attack and if you're attacking someone that has like a counter or something like that then they won't get stunned or provoked afterwards so let's say you're going against tree boy or ingwe then this is a pretty good use case for that now let's go on to her for skill dragons revival english dragons of revival Dragon's Revitalization. Jesus Christ. <laughs> At the end of the turn, every active buff on Lakshmi recovers the HP of all allies. 3% of allies' max HP per buff applies up to 3 buffs. So this doesn't seem like much, but 3 times 3 is 9. You get my drift? That's 9% of allies' max HP. That could be huge. That could cause you to win the game or lose the game just for that little bit of hp that you're gaining back and this is at every end of her turn so if you have her really fast and she gets more turns or if you have a team comp that teams turn cycles this means constant heals before the enemy can even attack you or do any damage to you meaning that you are pretty much a sustainable squad like a self-sustainable squad with her on your team Especially if they have vampires and stuff like that on your on their characters too. So your characters are doing damage. And then at the end of her turn, she also heals after your characters have healed from doing that set damage. The skill when you do uh, skill it up actually gives you three more. So it becomes six. So six times three. That's 18. 18% more HP at the end of the round. If she has three buffs or more on her. Which if you team her up with certain units, that becomes very equitable. And if you have like Jara or another character uh, that can in the future possibly stack uh, buffs or increase the turns of the buffs, then she'll be very, very good with those units. Now, where is she good at? She's actually good at several locations. She's good at Tower, obviously. Dark Tower, obviously. Tower Hard, TRA Hard, obviously. <laughs> She's good at PvP. She's good at some PvE contents like that but personally my main focus for her would probably be the pvp guild wars or yeah guild wars type of thing because she will be very good at allowing you to have a proper defense and making it harder for characters to attack you especially when it comes to like rush scenarios where people are rushing at the end of the week to get their points up if you have her on the team she will actually make it so it's harder for them to die and then people won't want to attack you because it wastes too much time and that's the end of the video. Uh, guys, don't forget, she is a free-to-play unit. She is obtainable by uh, just gaining points in Guild Wars. So join a guild if you haven't joined a guild. And my guild has some slots. So join us, Zion. X-I-O-N. Join us. It'll be down... <laughs> it will be down below, but uh, join us in-game. We are friendly. We have our own Discord. Also join our Discord. That will be linked down below. Uh... Also, also, don't forget to check out all of my other social media that will be linked down below. And you'll see that little animation playing on screen right now. I am currently not live on Twitch, but go follow me over on Twitch. When I go live, you guys will see me. I play other games, not just this one. And we have some fun. Just chat out and stuff like that. So if you're interested, go follow me over there. Also, don't forget to check out my art channel. New videos will be coming there soon. I might be doing a fan art. You never know who. I might be doing a fan art over there relatively soon. So go follow that channel too. I'll see you guys over there. Again, thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you later. Peace. Bye-bye. Uh -huh.